Hey everybody, welcome to episode 7. This is the episode of the Virginia and Ohio F7 Atherin build that you've been waiting for where I start to paint. I'm out in my, this is like my carport garage. It's basically a garage, but it ain't got no garage doors because the guy who was building the house died before he finished it. And uh, the concrete needs about $30,000 worth of work, so it'll probably stay just like this forever. Right now, I'm just using it for storage for all the stuff coming out of the house, all the building supplies I need for inside the house. And uh, so I'm out here. It's uh, nice and cool out. It's only about 75 degrees, post a thunderstorm later. But right now, it, it feels pretty good, and it feels like the humidity is not too bad. So what I got going on here is uh, the typical setup that the average or the novice modeler will have. Um, you got some space in your garage or maybe even outside. I know people who paint outside on uh, days when the uh, wind's not blowing. But uh, for everyone who does not have an airbrush or who does not have a, uh, uh, a paint booth and, and all that sexy stuff, you can still paint and customize a very good model with the basics. And that's what I'm doing. So I got can spray paint out here today. You see I've got the trucks disassembled over here. I'm going to paint the... Uh, the silver side black. Just gonna paint it black simply that uh, blast that with some flat black. And I'm going to uh, basically use this uh, Glacier Gray as my primer for this Atherin unit. Uh, if this unit was gray, like a uh, an Atlas um, or an older Stuart, I wouldn't even worry about priming it. I would just start blasting it with blue. But uh, this is uh, uh, the Krylon Fusion paint. This is, uh, I don't know if it's like new or anything, but it's been out for a couple years, but this is my paint of preference right now. It just seems like uh, you can't go wrong with it. Um, it's, it's still easy to put on too much, you know, but with the new spray nozzles and stuff like that, you can do a fairly good job. You do not want to paint right up on the model like this you're going to want to you know maybe 15 inches of standoff maybe even 18 it depends on how thick it's laying on uh i usually do something simple like a uh a one by three and then a one by three glued on top and i set my model on there simply but it allows me to also shift it you know and change the angle on it and then out here i just got a, an old workbench a piece of uh concrete backer board and I've cleaned all this stuff off, of course. And then I can just, I don't have a turntable. So guess what? You just do this. I mean, it, it's not, you know, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to build a nice looking locomotive or to, uh, uh, you know, to make something good, you know, basically is what I'm trying to say. Uh, just some simple things. I got this old workbench. I think uh, my mother-in-law from like two marriages ago bought me this like 25 or 30 years ago. And I still got it. That's about the only thing she ever gave me uh, that was worth a, a crap besides her daughter. And uh, which, you know, I got my kids from. But uh, other than that, that was about it. But um, <laughs> I don't even know why I brought that up. But either way, you know, mother-in-laws are good, right? They're good. They love us. No, they don't. But my mother-in-law now does. She thinks I'm great. But uh, that's pretty cool. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. You're going to want to shake the hell out of this thing. Um, and then, uh, you'll start blasting away. All right, so my, uh, Glacier Gray is, uh, well shaken. Walked up to the, uh, mailbox and got the mail. Bunch of crap. I don't know how anybody else feels about this time of year, but I, I hate election season because I just get more bull crap in the mail from both sides that I don't want. You know, if I did, if I want to contribute, I'm going to contribute. But it doesn't matter. I don't want to. I don't want this crap coming constantly. Just like my phone calls. I get phone calls all the time for this junk. It's ridiculous. Can't wait till November six. Now, when you're painting, you can either go back and forth or you can go up and down. But you just want to be mindful that you're not leaving streaks either direction. Um, what I normally do is uh, I do a combination of both to get into like all the little crawls and crevices and stuff and uh, just to make sure that it's, it's filling in, I guess. 
And then I, I'll bump it up here a little bit and I'll shoot it a little bit from underneath. And when I primer these black units, I don't really go overboard with uh, trying to get it all covered, the entire black. It don't need to be all gray. You just, you just want something else besides the black that your blue will sit on and not look darker than what it is. Oh, if you notice, I got the uh, spark arresters on. Uh, I just cut them off of the stack and glued the spark arrester, like the top portion, directly to the piece of plastic, which is supposed to be the exhaust manifold or the exhaust port or exhaust pipe, whatever you want to call it. But uh, looks pretty decent. Now the coils, I just ordered the coils just now, and I will apply them after you know, of course, the paint comes or the paint dries, and and they get here. So by the time uh, you see the next video, you know, this might just stay like this for a while. I might paint for a couple of days. I don't know. I got granite people coming today and doctor's appointments tomorrow and all kinds of stuff. So I wanted to blast the uh, windshield area just a little bit extra because that clear plastic kind of, it'll, it'll, it'll tease you a little bit. And uh, you'll think you got it real good, but you didn't. Pretty happy with this. All right. All the lines I sanded off uh, look pretty good. A little bit down there. There we go. I'm going to call that good. I'm going to let that dry. Uh, it's very dust free out here. Uh, just a slight breeze. I think it'll be fine. But the, uh, the smart thing to do would be take it inside. So I think that's what I'll do. All right, we're outside here. We're just gonna take a look at it in the sun. Hope it's focused. I got my reading glasses on, I can't see crap. It's looking pretty good. Whoa, I dropped it. Can't be doing that. So I'm happy, I'm happy. Ah, I just love being outside. All right, I'm going to uh, hit it with a uh, little bit of blue. Once again, it's Krylon Fusion White, I mean Matte Patriotic Blue. I think it looks pretty good. Um, it, it may not look correct in the photos or on the video, but uh, it, it's not as, I, I don't know, as bright, I guess, if you would, in person. So uh, I, this is what I've been using on everything. Normally, I shoot this with a darker blue, then come back with this lighter blue, but I'm not going to this time because uh, I don't want to... I'll paint you a little too thick. Now always remember, uh, the least amount of coats is best. You don't want it to be too heavy. Um, I think it looks pretty good right now. Let me zoom in and take a look here. Not too bad, not too bad. Let it dry, see what it looks like. Maybe I'll uh, end up flipping it over, shooting it from a different direction, different angle, 
to uh, get all the spots up underneath, but I think I got them all, but we'll see. We'll see. Stand by. All right. So this is about the uh, third coat. It looks a lot brighter blue in the video, but uh, I'm pretty happy with the way this is looking. Hopefully that's not too fast for you. Windows are looking all right. Paint looks fairly smooth. Uh, while I was doing this, I had the granite guys here, so I was gonna run it back and forth. I gotta cut grass here in a minute. And I've also been working on this. So you can see the difference between the cab being uh, uh, hit with the glacier gray and then with the patriotic blue versus the body that I hit with uh, patriotic blue and then uh, ink blue, which is the dark blue that I used on the PA that I didn't like. And you can see a little bit of a difference there, but I'm gonna weather the hell out of this one, so that little bit of difference won't mean nothing. I guess it don't look that much different. I gotta blast that one one more time. But uh, that's it for this video. Uh, the next video I will have uh, painted uh, the trucks and put them together. I will have this part here, the grills painted uh, like an aluminum. And I will have the horns and the uh, antenna put on there. Uh, that's pretty simple stuff. You know, you don't need me to show you how to drill a hole and put a thing in. But even I've already done it a million times for you. But uh, if you like this video, uh, you know, of course, you know, like, comment, um, share the video and, uh, you know, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and uh, come back here for the finale, which will be what? Number seven, I think number seven, that'd be the finale. I'll, I'll point, put it all together, decals and all that stuff. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, come back here in a few days. Thanks for watching.